Hey guys, welcome back to the Smith Family Ranch. So, did I ever tell you that I was not a bee expert? That's right, me, no. I am not a bee expert, not one bit. I am learning, this is my first hive. I don't know a lot. So, in my last video, I was called or messaged by my amazing bee mentors, Just Bee Farm. They said, or Francis actually said, that the feeder that we have is actually a summer feeder. And I said, well, that's the only thing that, that Man Lake had available. So, and we couldn't find anything that was just the outer part. Like just, I can't, just that part with nothing in it. So she said, well, that's fine. All you have to do is take the mesh out and keep the sugar in there and it should work. It should be just fine. So that's what we're going to do today. And I hope it works out. So like I said, I am not a professional, but I want to be better at this. So come along on this journey with me and maybe we'll learn something together. What do you say about that? I may or may not need the smoke. I brought it just in case. And in fact, I'm gonna go ahead and start it. Seems it is a beautiful mid 70s degree day. We're gonna go ahead and do a hive inspection as well. So hopefully we don't piss off the bees and I don't get stung again. <laughs> Let's get to it. Long legs. Clearly the bees cannot get up here. Maybe a bunch of bees on here. Don't want to push you. So, I cannot see. There are. Phillips pads right here, and we're just gonna pull this right off as soon as my assistant comes back with it. <laughs> There, now the bees, yeah, there's a spider in there, should be able to come right up in there and eat that sugar.
So on this side, there is area where it's empty in the middle, kind of like they have eaten off of it. Because there's a little bit in there. I wonder if they're doing that. Oh, this hurts my back. They still have lots of honey. I'm not seeing any brood, which is normal. Just want to go one more in. These bees are getting a little angry. At least it's a pretty day. This one's heavy. Whoa, is it heavy? Oh yeah, all that honey they, they've tapped into. This used to be cat, capped, capped honey. Looks like they've gone into it to start eating. Not seeing the queen yet, but that doesn't mean she's not here. It's just really cool. I do see some uh, larva still which we had a warm, we had a very warm spring, I mean fall, but this pretty much was capped, I'm pretty sure, last time. I'm so sorry, bees. Yep, yep, I know. I guess I won't check you. Let me close you up. I done pissed them off. I'm gonna go ahead and put this back on top. We took the mesh off so they can get in there. I didn't hear any any uh, crunches, so that's a good sign. As soon as I put the lid back on, they totally calmed down. I don't know if you could tell that. Maybe it was the box um, covering up the buzzing noise, but they definitely calmed down a little bit. But the mesh is off and it is ready. Um, the bees were already crawling through it so that's a good sign and uh, the bees are looking good we have some sugar water out which is a little ways away because we don't from what we understand you don't want it really close to the hive because if another hive or you know colony 
is trying to get water from it or to eat off of it, then there can be a fight, especially if it's close to the colony or the hive. So we keep that away from the hive to protect the hive. And uh, yeah, I'd say that was a pretty good check. Today is, what is today? January 5th. Today is the 5th, it's Sunday, January 5th. First bee check of the year. Um, went pretty well. So anyways, thanks so much for watching. And remember, I am not a beekeeping professional. I am a beekeeper professional in the making. Beekeeper, let's just say beekeeper in the making. So anyways, thanks for watching and we'll catch you later.